impressed with him. And I thought defensively, especially on ball screens, he was doing a really nice job of making that guard turn, stepping out hard. I'd like to see him continue that today. Kata inside finishes. He'll draw the second jump. Ganesh Kata out of Utah State. Jay, that was that footwork that we spoke of. Wonderful to get a, you know, a real taste of Canada from, from Dan. And that just shows how, how much he values our relationship that he would take me there. More importantly, who paid? On ESPN, break down their game. Over on ABC at 8 Eastern, get into their backstory. A little player bios, figure out who can golf, who can fish. It'll be a good time. Where his legs are probably a little heavy. His decision Look making has been steal. superb. Okay, Kata, we see you. <laughs> Comes out on the three point line to defend. Jason Preston really made a name for himself in the tournament. What are you looking for out of him in this, this scrimmage? Just more of the same. To, to run a team, uh, he can he can handle the roster because of his defensive ability and. Uh, he can make an open shot. He did uh, already in this game. Uh, but if that, if that ever comes along, uh, you know, Eve Pons is going to have a really nice NBA career. Ooh, look at all that Parmesan cheese on that papadilla. Our freshly folded flatbread filled with juicy meats and melted cheese. Now Recruiter. Zip Recruiter sent me great jobs. I applied with a click. Some companies even invited me to apply. I started a new job last week. Truer to who he is. He can run the floor, he can block shots, he can get on the glass. And Jay, I think over time, he is going to develop a really nice touch and be able to knock down an 18-foot jump shot to space the defense. Yep. Beta trying to go right back at him. Pump fake, pump nice fake, patience. and puts it in. Really good patience underneath to wait, wait. Uh, so it was pretty easy for me to learn my guys and you know create relationships with them and, and be able to play with them. So it's been fun and it's a blessing to be here. You and Austin Reeves were going at it. A any talk? <laughs> what do you think that the black team could use more of as they get into play tomorrow? Yeah, it goes to the point that McKinley Wright Ooh, made. Baby. And it's much more movement, player movement, ball movement from yeah. the white team. And Dangerous because this is more of a downhill off the bounce offensive team. Kata takes the first shot for the Aggies and Amish Kata steps out. He's got that kind of range now. He can hit that. McClung has been only averaging nine and a half points, well below his 16 point per game average. Here's Kata again. First four for the Aggies from Amish Kata. Yeah. And they've been face up to make the other team work. Kata on Santos Silva, transfer from VCU. Back and in, Kata. Foul called, McClung gets tangled up with Bean and draws Brock Miller. Kata at the top of the circle. Playing point guard at seven foot, turn around. That's, his points have come on the face up because he picked up that cheap one, cheap foul. Kata on the offensive end. Little push off, got away with it. That could have been hugely consequential. Shannon, you. Team turnovers by Utah State, forced by Texas Tech's defense, is a big number. Kata, finally, another basket for Namiya's Kata. That's his. Anderson. Another missed three. Kata has the offensive rebound, and Kata does his second basket of the second half. I think their ball movement has been much better here in the second half also. Kata back it in, turn around. Namiya's Kata trying to give the Aggies a lift. Already, Andrew, they're getting nothing in the lane. These are all forced jump shots because tough to score in the paint with that big guy there. How about that? Kata showing off the mid-range. Yeah, I mean, he can shoot that 12-14 foot shot. I like this kid a lot. It's sophomore. Actually, this sophomore class of Nico Medved has been terrific. And Kata counted in one. You got to run the floor with this kid because he can really... Kata. Kata gets it back. And now Anthony will reset. Miller wastes. Josh State. Justin Bean was 
Having a tough time getting his nose to stop bleeding. He's now at the scorer's table, set to check in as Kata misses in tight. Wow, you're not going to get a better look than that. And that's what they have to do. Tough defensively to Colorado State. There's a reason why they're having the kind of year they're having. Kata spinning on Moores. Won't go. Ronnie with the rebound. One and done. Go the Aggies. And by the way, people... Think Roddy defending Kata. Kata over Roddy, no, a fight. Kata saves it to Bean. Shot clock turned off. Ashworth will shoot it. Should have pulled it down and out. Offensive board. Bean tried to feed Kata, and he scores. Line. Moores tracks it down, tries to throw it off Wooster, and instead goes right to Miller. On the break, Kata up ahead. Oh, wow. Can the Moore get a piece of that? Isaiah Stevens got his hands full with Kata. No shot. And Colorado State calls. Kata cuts. No good. Follows his miss. No. And Roddy takes it. And numbers for the Rams. Point shooter. Yeah, he's as good as they, as they have. Kata with the jam. Bounces to Kata and one. What a feed from Ashworth and the Anderson with the left hand. Kata offensive rebound put back out there. Never was really able to gather himself. Cannot turn the ball over and allow the Aztecs to get out and run. 15 wins in the conference season for Utah State. Kata inside and he works on Mensa and gets the deuce. Kata is so good. Dutchman. Kata retrieves it. Mensa is right there. Two seven footers head to head across the lane, up and off with a Mensa rebound. Mensa's got to be. He was the two time state of montana high school player of the year weaving driving feeding inside they can't get it to go mitchell gets it on the miss by kata to the ball but if you let him knock it away then the referee's gonna let that go being inside drew the double kata mid-ranger got it the media in the mountain west conference said he was the player by 21 which brings us to this championship game for a third consecutive year it's san diego state utah state and kata right on the doorstep finds two kata is just so powerful in up anderson the top two seeds going at it worcester oh nice pass inside with a beautiful flush by kata um, this equals the biggest Aztec lead. Kata down low. Into a thicket. Look at all those white jerseys around him. He missed the first. And the second will rattle in. Kevin, the amazing thing about this. They've also given up nothing in transition. Kata inside. Met by Mensa. Trying to go up. Knocked away. Beautiful rejection by Johnson. That'll trigger this right here. Gomez the other way. Interest part of the game now for Utah State. Well, they desperately need to get something going offensively. Kata knocking bodies over. Mensa, one of them. Now the flop. Is that that's, a, that's, that's the second, second that's one. That's wide open, but Worcester couldn't see him. Look at him try to uh, carve his way and then spin his way and then watch it drop with a nice move inside. Dodging the defense. West this year. This guy can really score. Not a great three point shooter, but he can put the ball on the floor. Kata's first touch, his shot off the mark, and the rebound to Caleb Grill. And that was a very tough shot. Give State in both games they played UNLV during the year, destroyed them in the paint. Even in the loss, destroyed them in the paint. And Pake Chong saves it to Caleb Grill. Jenkins Reno. One thing about UNLV, they do have a bunch of guys that you have to guard on the perimeter, and Wood's one of them. Kata gets his own miss, back up, and missed it again. Couple of point blank misses by Kata. Five with five minutes to go in the first half. Kata position stripped away by Jenkins. Great help coming from the weak side by Jenkins. I mean, Brock Miller's like he's not out there. He hasn't been, he's taking one shot. K 
Takeda turnaround, pretty stuff, and that's his first field goal of the night. That's a big time play. The lob, Kata over Grill. No double. Forget it. Yep. I mean, he's just too big and too good for the yeah. defense. Marco Anthony, a member of the Mountain West All Defensive Team, and showing why right there. Kata, quick two. It's another double-double for Kata. Kata around El Cadia, not this time, and tipped out to Blake. They doubled him in the first half. Three seven-footers for Fresno State touched the floor and gave Utah State some problems. I don't think they were anticipating so much size in that game. Well, there's Kata. Remember, he uh, tweaked, tweaked the ankle a bit in that game. If Wyoming wins, Fresno State's locked at six, but if the Bulldogs can't hold this lead and UNLV wins, they'll swap six seven. And of course, the Aggies need to win to lock it. Collins playing a little physical with them, and they've been playing physical with them all game. And I think he thought he got fouled on the first bump by Holland. <laughs> so he said, oh, I'll let him hit me again. Why not? Ref is not always going to. And also. There it is. Night for the Bulldogs. We'll talk about this in a second. Kata steal. That's something that could spark Utah State. First three. We're looking like a six seed. Yeah. For Fresno State. So if Fresno's the six, they would avoid Utah State tournament. Every call. If they don't win, Fresno State takes it. I think some people are watching. Oh, there's the double team. Oh, that's... Kata yeah. erases all that. See, that's just smart. You can hear the whole bench from Fresno State screaming what the play is going to be. Watch out for the back screen. Watch out for the cutter. Who's going to be your last few in? Who's not going to make it? I mean, their answer is, just keep running. Win tonight, and I get into the conference final. And they need Kata to do his thing, and he's starting to do this. Utah State can take the lead in this possession. He will turn it down this time. 12 minute mark opening half. See if the Aggies can get Kata stone. Comes up empty. It was honored pregame and got teed up in game. Not bad for senior night. Amazing that we've gone this far without digging in on the conference player of the week. Plinko. Got a little rust from missing a couple games with a lower leg injury. Kata missed time his first jump, back up with the second. Kata is such a good passer and scorer from these situations. Doing it all himself. That was like big brother on little brother. Now playing through the high post. Rising above. Only four points. Locker. Empty trip for Wyoming. Kata trailing the play. Oh, came downhill with bad intentions. He tried to dunk on everybody. And they're using it against Utah State. Beating the Aggies have hit four of their last five. Kata extending his range. Thompson couldn't control the rebound. They go to the with Michigan State getting housed. And if Utah State can hang on, expect some movement there. Stop me if you've heard this before. A double double for Nimi Kata. Uh, the, the, so by a dozen in the basketball for the Aggies, right into our featured player, making it look easy with the left hand. Kata versus Himes. 
Tangled up. Somehow got the shot off. Second chance. Nice idea for Fonzo. Yeah. He's just right now behind Dorius. They don't need him. No. Dorius had a big breakout game at Fresno. There's Cato away from the basket. From behind, Marco Anthony. More of that D. Three on two. Almost a lot of Coaching change fits right in with Craig Smith. Yeah, two coaching changes, actually. You really want to kind of get down to it. Warren Washington, once again, Warren Washington, a little frustrated with Keda for intermission. Keda puts it on the floor, doesn't quite finish. Kane Milling bringing the ball to the court. There's Glenn Sherfield can find him and not turn it over. Bill has five assists now. Kate up in the perimeter. Kate a little quiet offensively. Now Anthony all over the place. Also a screener diver, but he's become a shooter of late. They get it to Kata. Tries a little sky hook. Well defended. And Avado, his last four, That'll needs to get to the conference semis. That probably gets you in. I, I agree with myself. And I thank you for listening. And pay attention. Ada. Washington offensive end. There's some help from Coleman. Very nice. Bean. Kata from the top. In and out, but there's Anthony. Works his way around and scores. Just... That and a win in the tournament. Maybe gets them in the big dance. Of course, they just have won the tournament the last two years. I don't think Craig Smith would be opposed to that. And this is a team with their depth that is Bilgo. And it keeps poking away, but he's not been able to sustain anything in the second half. And one. You can't call all the touches. Doc Emmerich. Nice pass. And there's the finish. And deep to Kata. They really miss Zane Meeks as well. Kata on the perimeter. Another offensive board. And he'll get another chance off another bean rebound. Have these shots now. Ainsworth for three. Kata flying for the rebound. of Idaho, and then he followed that up with 12 against Northern Colorado. These two games a little more impressive than conference play. Lob not quite there for Keita. Had a team, Mark Fox, about yeah. 10 years ago, and Mark was absolutely rattled by those students. And that was, you know, Armand, that was uh, Armand Hatcher and Luke Babbitt. That was a pretty good Nevada team. He has a very, very high ceiling. Stayed up 4 nil to start this thing. Kata, hello. Two steps back to the free throw line. Maybe it's Kata. She had 17 with three rebounds earlier this year against Wyoming. It's two. Shares the basketball a ton. Goes to work. It's right there for him. Nice job defensively. Really nice job. Strong stop there by Washington. And hey, he's just got to get better at it. You want to open up that floor. Nice just a soft shot. Think about doubling there at all. And maybe most important player in a Raleigh Worcester. But it's a great opportunity as Kata comes up with the miss. A wonderful opportunity for a guy like Ashworth to really earn his stripes. They're back in the locker room. Mimi, short. This is called compounding mistakes. Okay. A little battle. He's asking for the basketball. Finally, some physical fight in the paint. And he's enjoying it. 
and the blood flowing. That looked really, really easy. I'm wondering if the same had looked at home. Gets it to Kata, then gets to work. He wants another shot at that man who swatted it away, came up short. Two great defensive stands by Washington. Great job by Washington, but he is exhausted. And he's playing well on defense. No, no doubt. But he just can't play offense because of it. Here we go again. Now he's just too low underneath the basket. And another opportunity. Passing bigs. Michael Waltrip. I'm Vince Welch. Ben Rhodes. He said, what's above cloud nine? How about cloud 99? He did it. Coming up, college basketball, Utah State and Boise State right now. It's an enormous game in the Mountain West with Boise State and Utah State, 25 apiece. Rich Waltz along with a good pass as well as he's shown in this first half. There's the double. Kata over it. And he's into double digits now. He's 10 and 6. In Mike Hill and Steve Lavin coming up at halftime. Kata with the catch. Gets inside. Gets up and in. And Amish Kata with a dozen points to go with six rebounds. And a couple. Ashworth against Shaver. Finds Kata. Four seconds left. Kata backing in. Falling away. Got it! Namish Keita and Utah. Need someone else to step up and, 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 and help uh, Derek Austin in the scoring. Ashworth um, knows that if he just gets it up there, Keita will clean it up. And he did. He gets a rebound and a bucket there. And he's approaching it out. His foot's in a boot. Ashworth's been running the team and doing quite well. Anthony gets to the rim. Keita! Tip! You would think that after his third offensive rebound that someone would cheerleaders as well. Ashworth crossing over, lobbing for Kata. There's the catch. And he lost it. Armish. Miller finds Kata. Jumper on the way. Yes. He's starting to get that mid-range game, which is scare walk. And the parents said he's going to do more than walk. And here he is. Playing point guard in the Mountain West. That's a foul and a bucket. Keita from the wing. A lot of coaches in the conference have said it's, it's kind of like the five game, the old five game series in the NBA. Not a lot of time between games. Well, the advantage is that you're. Keita. He's got 22. Keita, he's got 24. And he's 12 of 17. Milner really leaning on Keita. He's fouled. He scores. And he's got a free throw coming. Late threes. Rebound. B. Miller. Missed it. Another rebound. Anthony. Keita. Ball fake. Dunk. And Utah State. Just like that. Leon Rice, the uh, head coach for Boise State, said, well, they had a lot of time to prepare for us. Yep. Kata from the elbow. No good. Rebound is loose. And Armouche with the last game against UNLV on the offensive glass. Miller's picked up by Shaver on the switch. He gets it to Kata on the baseline. High arcing shot is good. That's where his game has improved, I thought. Anderson in the game for the first time. Kata, he can make that shot. He does it that time. Alston with the rebound. I give him that shot anytime he wants, Tom. Transfer from East Tennessee State. When he came over from Serbia, he said, I, I wasn't planning on even coming to the States to play. And the, uh, and the hook shot by Kata. Yep, that's where he's got to stay. Stay down there. Bear stole on the baseline, off the side of the rim. Kata with the rebound of the two-handed jam. These best players, freshman point guards, both of them. So I go after them. They turn the ball over a lot. I put some pressure on if I'm Boise State. And Kata got great positioning to be able to slam that one home. And almost gambled. I'm sleeping. You're working on the game. You're digging down, <laughs> peeling the onion. That's true. But he's a very good defender, but he's very physical. So he's getting some fouls called. Kata having an advantage. Can't finish. Key jab with the rebound. Ian Aikot running the floor. And Anderson with the rebound. 
And Kata does that as smooth as anyone. Four-point play to the Broncos. Making noise. That was a big bucket for Ray J. Dennis, the point guard. Get his confidence going. He helped facilitate for his teammates. Oh, man, what about that move? Keeping the pivot foot. Kata. Get the ball to the... Yeah, he is an excellent like player, Bambi. but you're right. He's, young. He's like Bambi. I press Bambi. <laughs> Bambi came out. The... Here's Kata. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Tom, I got to wear a helmet now. A cup of coffee, even though we're in his own team, just to protect the paint. Have a man and a half around him. There's one guy can't guard him. Yeah, particularly Milner. Nothing against Milner, no. but he's a tough, and he did a nice job there. Yeah, that, no, go to this, this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't go for ice water. <laughs> one point lead. Kena try to give Utah oh. State the lead, and he does with a jam. It's the Kena. Hasn't taken a shot in a long time. Shaver hasn't taken a shot in a long time. He's out of the game now, so. And Kata over the top, no good. The putback, though, is good by Alfonso Anderson. He's coming out of it now, Tom. He could be the catalyst. He could be the glue. Well, you mentioned it. it's got to be some of the secondary players that have to come to life. Kata inside, tough shot, knocked away. Milner did a great job. Ashworth back to Kata. Kata working against Milner, running in the lane, gets the roll. Kata with 24. Now seven threes for Boise State. Take him, big fella. And Kata does, quick step, and over the top of Milner. Went inside to Kata, get him the ball. Let the big dog eat, give him the ball, please. Bean to the baseline, he gives it to Kata outside. His 15-footer, no good, and Shaver with the rebound. That's not the shot I wanted. B looking into Kata, covered by Milner. Isolation, no help. Kata off the glass like a Nerf ball, as Pete said. <laughs> Great call by Chris. Kata, knocked away by Milner. Kata underneath, gets his way to the basket, tries to force his way in. Milner's able to defend him nicely. Broncos got February last year. Off the timeout, Ashworth looking for Kata, working against Milner. Kata into the paint, off the glass. No good, it went in and out for the second time. Yep. Nine rebounds for Kata. Need a three now, need a three. They go inside to Kata, and Kata will get a chance for a three-point play as Milner came down on top. Really like Utah State, you'll see them spread the floor. Look, they go right inside to Kata right away, setting the tone early. Brock Miller with the dish. Miller's this is Orlando Robinson to be able to play on the wing in that four round one offense. Transition, Kata has to turn around against pressure. Doesn't go, and he saw uh, Braxton May right along with him. Another sandwalk finish at uh, BYU. And they have ridden that a long time this year. All right, trying to get Kata involved early. Kata has not even taken many shots in this game. It's just three. Utah State comes the other way. Get back inside. Kaden connects. I think he feels Orlando Robinson is not. I don't know if that's the same one he's been drinking out of or if he switched it up because maybe things weren't going so well at a certain point. Well, we got Kata involved again, although that won't go. But he has five of Utah State's seven points. So they can get some offensive points. Utah State with a chance to take their biggest lead. So this is kind of a critical spot defensively. And a miss there by Kata. And he is in. In the corner, look at Anthony. Switching hands. Kata, I'm going to take this over the other seven-footer. Doesn't go. I tell you, his 15-foot shot has gotten more consistent. Eyes of Gray just try to shoot over him. There's nobody that can stop him down inside. Right? The other end. Fresno State's got to get some more size in there. Right? Ashworth. Kata, oh, Kata's got a lane. Look out! Oh, with the left hand over the top. And that's what I was telling you before, Bob, a couple of days ago. It's not that it was a stunning loss. I mean, UNLV was an underdog in the game. But Utah State is a strong team. They're physically strong. They're mentally strong. They win games with their defense, as Anthony. Kato comes over from Portugal, and it has been a magical two and a half year run. Really well put. Kato, a guy you can build around, selfless in his approach. Bean grabs the offensive rebound and quickly turns it into a cowboy education flexing right there. Huh? 
couple of big fellas battling and just smashed off the glass and a little bit too firm there by Kata. Even if it doesn't turn out great. We just saw him get an angle basket against Kata. Kata trying to sniff out some scoring that's a little bit out of his range and that one nearly dropped it. The Aggies really on their toes defensively and spaced the floor out. Grills got eight points. Just too big, too strong. I, I think they're going to have to throw a double team with this match. Well, he zips a pass into the corner. Look at that vision. Unable to pay it off that time, Ashworth. But an offensive rebound knocked away. There's Ashworth again from the corner. Wow! Spent a good deal of time there in the... Oh! Summertime! Oh, my God! Goodness, Mimi Kata closes that one. Beautiful pass. Hoops as well, a Utah State, Stephanie. Cam was the strongest player I've ever seen in Mount West I mean, He was, that dude, that dude could easily come out and be a bouncer. So it's fun watching him think and go to work, think on his feet. Wow. It's fun what? watching Kata beat a double team. We'll, we'll run it back. 37-34. Keda tries to take his team into the locker room. With a bucket, can't do it. Better hurry. Blake Dan, but they let him get to his left hand. Right. Craig Smith, if you don't, if he doesn't get, to, if he gets to his left hand, you're coming out. So guess what? He hasn't been able to get to his left hand. Incredible night. He's got 17. He's got eight assists. He's got six rebounds. He's got three steals. Well off the mark, little jump hook along the baseline. Uh, Kata hadn't seen the bump, so it's still a tough stretch. It's Nevada and Sherfield. Well, that's a good team, too. Dean with the lob to Kata. And Kata moving closer to that double-digit number. He got there. We need to have gotten Jenkins figured out. The bad news is, well, Utah State's done a great job of scouting Bryce Hamilton. He's done nothing. Amy Kata, that one rings in and out. Anthony goes up to grab the rebound. They'll get grilled. That, that's part of it. Right? Yeah, 12 offensive Plus rebounds 11. to six. Yep. But I think the bigger one is 28 buckets, 20, 20 assists. My goodness. So, so here's the thing for inside of the score column, but it's 25 points for Jenkins. Kata pulls himself together, misses, but Wooster follows. So give Wooster a rebound. rebound you can the give it. There's the first touch for Kata, and he's got to catch it three blocks in from the ocean, way outside the lane. Back his way down against Jung, and the turnaround's well short. Got his own board right back up, and he finishes. That, Steve, is why he's so dangerous. Averages near... Uh, basically, once his guys are score, and they want to shrink the board for Kata. They want to shrink the board for Anderson looking into Kata. Good job by UNLV. They're forcing the catch out wide, but Kata just the back down, the turnaround, and he can almost touch the rim with his arms from out there, but he does miss. Kata was in foul trouble over the weekend against the Rams. He played only 10 minutes in the second half, and that's when Colorado State sealed the deal. There's Kata going to work on the block. He has six of his team. Well, Wooster came over from the weak side, made a really good attempt. And the big fella just takes a strong to the basket. They got to do more of that on the inside. Kata misses. Rebound. Anderson, no. Now, I'm sorry, five stars, Steve. There's a stick to the bucket by Anthony and a rebound UNLV. You know, he's going to keep shooting, Joel. I mean, they're, they're going to shoot the three. Grill misses. Running Rebels have hit nine from behind the arc. Really good court defense by Utah State, too. Got the range. Well, what they're doing with Casey, COVID-19 played a part of that. Likely he'll test the waters again after his junior season this year. Kata, tip back, no. Rebounded by Moses Wood. Good job to clear out UNLV. Got to look inside to Kata. You've got to get in the ball inside. They do, on the block. Punishes Jones down low. Can't put the ball down. And it spits out of bounds. Is a handful for everybody that has faced him.
<laughs> oh, great cut by Quentin Grimes. And a beautiful pass by Isaiah Mobley. Come on, Jay. You don't want to. Ace Smith running the show for the team four. Christopher. Christopher able to cut. There's the double cape quick that time. Kata gets away. Wooster for three. Yes. You know, you take a chance. You double establish Namiya's Kata in the lane offensively a little bit more. Miller very quiet to this point. Knocks down the jumper. And that's the first field goal of the night. He can be a step out guy for you, but he can also do some things on every post, the low, mid, and high post. Now he is defending Kata. Open man B. Yeah, Justin Bean is the guy that Holland not out for the second half for Fresno State. And a good early sign for the Aggies. Alfonso Anderson not. Why do I have a feeling the last seven minutes are going to be just like this? Back and forth. Anthony way to a he'll take that three and it goes. It was worth the wait. And if you're wondering about the seats. The initial intent was a spectrum of colors. Now Kata on the assist. assist. They got to figure out a way to stop this guy. 23 in the white. Bean from inside the line. 17 and counting. And shooter. A one of 11 since the half from distance. Kata trying to spot the open man. Of course, block the block, it's Bean. How did Bean catch that ball, though? That thing was a rock. The late high school quarterback, Hellsgate High School in Missoula, Montana. Oh, there he is. Buster on the Schneid offensive. Nevada's pressing is not just to speed this game up, is they're going to get a dunk. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't go well. Adrenaline flowing after the voices. Yeah. The worst thing in the world not to play. Being left open. You will regret that. That's his first. He's a heavy freshman sophomore team. A lot of future for Steve Alford with this group. Anthony. Anthony continues to do it all as well tonight. Well, finally gets a break. Two in a row. He got a good look, and I thought, oh, that pops out on him. That's just not fair. Next Friday against Colorado State, but Colorado State's got to play three games next week. Maybe a good thing. Stephen Ashworth. Hellgate High School. We saw him have an amazing game, Doug and I did, against UNLV. Beautiful passing. Same, same man passing. Same high school, high school as Trace Tinkle. Games. All right, here we go again. How about that pass? Oh, that pass. Max Shulgi, you're welcome, says Keita. Keita, 9 of 12, 18 points at the rim. And he's hit two threes here, and that's a big one. Keita backing in on Milner. Kicks. Ashworth three. Got it. And that's where it's tough right there. Looking for three-point shooters. Ashworth dumps to Keita. Shulga lays it up. But with two seconds left, it's over. Almost. One second left. And Anderson, one of two Utah State subs at the table. Bean. Got it. Like the other night, at eight points in 25 minutes in the win over UNLV. Prior to that, he was good for 14 points a game. Dropped in there by Wooster. Dave. So we will see. Wooster up a little runner in the lane. Look at the whole bag. Right back to action, Utah State. And they do this five-point lead, trying to add to it. 
Beautiful movement of the basketball and in the hands of Marco Anthony. In field goal percentage D in the Mountain West. Pelly struggled against Colorado State shooting the basketball, so it'll be interesting how they come out of the gates and right off the bat, knocking down the three ball early. Through. They are zero for zero from the line tonight. Well, but they lead. You know, the coaches always say, you live and die by the three. Brock Miller's gonna try, and he gets himself to the free throw line from behind. Decided to go zone when Cato was out of the game, and, and the Aggies were not shooting the ball well, so trying to see what they can get out of it here. There's what we haven't seen yet, though, from Cato, Steve. That's his passing ability. First, First this is a rematch for Matt.
keeps him visible when he's been the key addition to the Phoenix Suns, who are now in the Western Conference Finals, and he's been absolutely spectacular. Uh, Jay, it almost looks like he hasn't even started in that game, and that's been a bit of a problem for Utah State this year. They've had some sluggish first halves. Craig Smith called it a, a bit of a root canal yesterday <laughs> in the first half for the Rams. Kada's pass picked off Roddy. Moore races up. Doesn't have numbers, so pulls it back. But the other Not hand. bad, huh? He's strong, too. Driving into Tomajic. The corkscrew move inside. Kada loses the ball. It's off the hands, they say. Uh, Kada trying to go in aggressively. They double him. Mensa with nice defense. And they threw it away. The defense right there forces the turnover. Well, Kata was looking stir. Shot clock at eight. Kata, a lunging catch. Tamayic is there with the D. He'll spin and lean and miss and get fouled. Kevin, that was a traveling violation. He did not get fouled. They're getting the job done the last couple of years here in Vegas. Back to back Mountain West tournament champions. Looking to make it a three feet as Kata travels. I would think, Steve, that puts Boise State in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I would have to say that Boise State is probably out. Now, you never know what's going to happen, but my guess is they're out. Jake, you got to play D. You got to pass. That just shows you their versatility. Look at this footwork. Oh, that defense really hounded them. They get a little double team inside, a little trap in the post on Kata. Well, and, and, you t and I think it's mission accomplished the way they're playing down the stretch. And I think they're the team you don't want to play in the Mountain West Tournament. They are really disturbing. Nemius Kata, yeah. every time he gets the ball in games, between their last game and the conference tournament. And, and you know they're angry right now. They're yes. practicing angry. You know, they're going to be a force to, to contend with in the Mountain West tournament. Another Utah State turnover. That's yeah. number seven. And at the other end, he's Kata. Help is too low, oh, and Kata gets through the key but yeah. throws it away, trying he's to find funds. A little too excited. He knew the double team was coming. He was trying to beat he the almost. double team. And then they had a massive scandal with Greg Marshall. Logan, Utah, Doug Gottlieb, Darren Sutton, and you. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We trust your week. Four teams in the league. Yeah, net rating bumpers. Yeah, for sure. Kata swatted away by Washington. Right there, Johnny on the spot. Nice play by Warren. Nine. He did it. Coming up, college basketball, Utah State and Boise State right now. Broncos have defended the three quite well in this series. Double comes. Kata, that's a palm. And a turnover. Right here on the... Kata. For Miller, off a screen. That's a moving screen. You can do the dribble handoff, but you can't turn in. Kata. Throws it away. Acock backs his way in. Shot clock at 12. Lost control. Got it back. Lost it again. Arbus with the steal. Interesting. No double team that time, Tom. One for two from the line. Kato with the offensive rebound. A little jump and a trap. Yep. He's lucky he didn't get a foul on that one, Tom, on that. You know, when I was at Xavier in Cincinnati, we played him. He's a tremendous player. His dad Did you coach him? Carroll. Did you coach against him well? Yeah. yeah he did good. Yeah, he's a very good player. A uh, foul called on Utah. Anderson with the rebound. He's going to Kana now. He's got a mismatch. Ooh, over screen. And high, there's the entry from Worcester. Kata, oh, here we go, Kata, backing down on Robinson. That'll be offensive. Okay, we'll watch these. He wants it. Call for, I love when big men call for the ball. Mister gets it deep, there's that double, oh, nice. and they get the turnover, and it's Mia getting the hand in. He could have a triple-double as he asks for the ball now. And he is immediately double-teamed and shoved into the corner. UNLV, choice one, it worked. But last game, they didn't double-team Kata. 
rebounds a game. And then, as you said, that limited playing time, eight blocks overall. Double team doesn't matter. Steps too many, though. Amy Kato with the traveling violation. A quick reminder who swatted. He just used the backboard as a pick to get over there and use it at the easy lane. Now they made Kata dribble. Turnover number from the other wing. The weak side to help out. There's always somebody near. The two guys near every time. Kata getting physical. Look at the way that John stuck with him. He's stayed down, did the commercial, and then comes back out with a steal and a scoop. Young bodying up Kata, and he traveled. Kata frustrated on the offensive side. Kata, the double comes.
14 second mark. That's valuable time that's been eaten up off the clock that can throw off the rhythm of an offense. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Davion 16 points, six of 10 from the floor. Almost came up with a steal. Broken down. He wasn't the player that he was coming out of high school, but they rebuilt him. He was tougher. He was stronger. He learned how to really practice and work on it. And being in the moment. And, Jay, that's such a big point because people will say, well, you need to show you can do this. You need to show you do that. And then you're doing things that you're not great at, and then your team's... That three's good and a big shot. Thomas again, not this time. The other way, out of control. Big mistake there. You got to pull that ball out. Stevens can't hit the three. Johnson trying to drive, denied right there, down low by Anderson. Mitchell in, step back, triple. Rebound. Now well, they've got a rope in, a Glucka rope from Omaha, Nebraska. Born in the Sudan. Ada could not make the catch. The transition defense by uh, Utah State's been very good. Wood, yes, from the outside. Zabel could have finished the game if he had to, but Utah State had it in hand. He's in fine form right now. From the perimeter, there's Robinson from the second seed. And look who's the first seed on the other side of the bracket, San Diego State. Robinson again away from the basket. Nine points a game, three and a half assists, getting rebounds. I mean, he is the leader of the offense. Robinson again from the outside. I think it's the last three games now. Kata and Bean have both had yes. double doubles in all three of those games. Like 20 seconds ago. Robinson way open for a three. Peppers don't bear it out because he hasn't gotten great minutes and he's playing just on energy. I missed his first four, but the staff will swear that he's with every 40 minutes of experience. Maldonado lost the handle. Back to Thompson. Oh, they had to have it. Now that guy, that is, it, is what makes Demi Kata special. So the folks down 10 without their leading scorer, Williams. Maldonado. Too strong. Freeze collects for the Cowboys. Thompson rocks into a triple. It's abandoned them in this game. Yes, to the right. It was there waiting. Look at Miller, bad back and all. Surefield. But that's a miss. You, you like that matchup there. If you're Alston, he misses the three. There's so many uh, changes, particularly with the loss of Sam Merrill. Yeah, oh, get drive in the dish that turns into a turnover chance to get out and run here for the rebels deep one for wood moses wood but a brace hamilton triple it begins the second boy moses wood desperately wanted the ball open in the lane another three that triple when he came back in early january last year
so good. And to be able to do that on the second day, where his legs are probably a little heavy, his decision-making is been Team White talking on defense, and but another really good pass. That was an excellent pass by Raekwon Gray. Roddy around Kata again. That's going to be a fun. Roddy fakes the three. What a handle he's got. Look at that. Doesn't get it to go. Any Roddy. Oh, Kata smacks it. Shot clock at four. Roddy. And he's fouled. This is for Marco Anthony. Yeah, he, he can stuff a stat sheet pretty good. State. Moore's around Kata. Short. Roddy grabs it to get it. Over to Moore. Moore, tough pass. Roddy makes the catch. Roddy up. Roddy missed it. Out of bounds. Bound Moore. He races behind the line, but will feed Roddy. Nope. And there's another block. Make it eight for Kata. Mitchell outside. Four consecutive weeks. San Diego State has been in 11 of the last 13. Inside, shuffling his way, trying to carve some points. Peace. They sneak it down low to Myatch. And in there defending Kata. Who get shackles had no one on him but Miller today. To Mayich. He'll try to spin. He carves his way for two. Deny dribble penetration. Here's Mbake Chong down low, tied up, gets it off. No good. Rebound comes first half action. Yeah, they I don't know what Craig Smith told him in the locker room, but Kadia countered in one. Mbake Chong playing with four fouls. Trying to get around Kata. Cannot. Great box out by Jones. One of the Achilles heels for Fresno State's been turning the basketball over. Something that they've struggled with throughout the course of the season. There's the defense. They're both in. Mia. Playing with the fouls. Kata. And they never uh, yielded the lead. Block shot. The state's five of ten at the line. Fresno State eight of nine. They've been five. two reasons why the Aggies have out rebounded every single opponent, and they lead D1 in margin. Who's Graham EK? That's going to be a tough matchup. Like, he wins shooting drills. I think some of it is he plays so hard that it's hard to just slow down and relax and shoot the basketball. Graham EK limited with two personal fouls. Uh oh. 15 for B. DK in the pokes down five. He goes right at the leading shot. Peter Ducell nailed it by Ashworth. Let's see what EK can do. Had his shot altered, but not blocked. Washington again low against Kata. Two in a row. Full double. Quiet but deadly. There he is on defense. And Washington able to draw the third of his career. Second straight double-double. His high school coach is never going to get to leave Logan. Neither his family. Right. Kata defends once. It's turnaround by Hines, but it doesn't go. Well, this crowd is notorious for needling visiting coaches and players. Referee really getting two and probably, probably three. Yeah. Colorado State's 45 in the net. The Aggies are 50. That's why the Aggies have worked. Steve Alford, Indiana. Up in there, block shot. Best defender. Betsy to dump it in there, but you got to try. Shot block again. Story 15 between these two teams. They'll tell you too many, way too many. Shot. Charlotte good. Miller's got six points. The court by Cambridge. Washington. Gator there to. 
Australian Foster, 20 in that Navy jersey, earning some playing time. Washington to the line drive it. Marmish against Kada. Going at him. Left hand hook. That's nice. Boy, this big guy. Jab dribbles toward a triple team. Down low to Milner. Milner gets Kada off his feet and feeds the. Well, you know what, though? It looks like they're going to pick up full court, though. Just a moment ago when they scored. They picked up full court and made it hard on Utah State. And there's the ball. Hold on. Strong inside. Oh. There's Gray, <laughs> but denied. Oh, and hitting the. I don't believe it's ever happened before when Craig, Craig Smith's been the head coach at, at Utah State. Yeah, they run defeated. As a matter of fact, you're exactly right. <laughs> kind of a working man. So I went with working man. I'll find a better cop. If you, in fact, as we watch UNLV get active. Ada, he is a shot blocker. Not that time. Coach versus cancer is about as good as it gets. Uniting the coaching community. Firm off the... We finally, just a moment ago, picked himself up with a bucket. Sean goes to work. In front of it. Didn't. One of the best defensive teams of all the mid-majors in the country. Certainly the best defensive... Congratulations on a great season. Getting Thank to you. this point and good luck in the NBA draft. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, but but the one thing is, it, and, and that's why I love when 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 Fonz and Jay come down the games because it, and being in the moment. And Jay, that's such a big point because people will say, "Well, you need to show you can do this. You need you can show you do that." And then you're doing things that you're not great at, and then your team's specific. That's some good ball from the WNBA this season. That is a fabulous watch. Beat this into the ground, but. You know, no scout here is watching this game looking for their leading scorer. It's just that's not what the, this is about. Stevens, tough pass. Moores makes the catch and scores. Well, Kata came out to. Roddy. Right at Kata. Roddy wins that battle. I mean, he's so good. There's Stevens, he's quick. Oh, oh, Kata! Out of nowhere. Is it a, it's an older team, as is the team for the Aggies. They're an older team. They go inside and climb in the ladder with a hammer. The switch on D. Four and a half to go. In Mensa from Pulliam. That was easy with it. the regular season. You know, one thing we got to keep an eye on, Andrew, that time Kata slow getting to that roll. Great and play by this by Kata. Jenkins, his shot's blocked by Kata. Phones and TV and everything. I mean, these, these guys know where they stand. They see it everywhere they look. Bracketologists everywhere. Oh, great feed. Jenkins, Delcadia, but a tough shot. Blake thought about a three. Now Blake driving on Wooster. Freshman on freshman, and Kata says, get out of here. Grill to a cutting Del County who's now hard. Lead is 12. Well, part of the deal here is you just talked about how they've out rebounded every one of their opponents. And they're, they're down three right back with that great win against Colorado State. And Grant Sherfield, who struggled last week, is the hero. And there's always a surprise when Wyoming last year. Yes, Trace Tinkle starred at Oregon State. His dad, of course, was the coach of Montana at the time. And to sell off the quick rip through challenges the big fortunate position defensively but they don't have to be because they rebound the ball so well they throw four at the glass sometimes even five yeah. been came of nine nevada one of six somebody figures it out soon uh, that's what's a big part of it this is dennis handoff key jab milner rolled kata poked it loose and a chance Boise State on an 8-0 run here. Keita got a hand on that. And another turnover. Alston Armish steps through. Left hand. Oh, goodness! <laughs> Boise State has to go play San Diego State twice next week. Dennis around the screen. Armish muscles it up and in! <laughs> 
Well, we wondered how Utah State would come out being off for 13 days. Shaver, right side of the lane, off the glass, no good. The ball. Max Rice in the game for the first time. And our Moose with the fine. But I think for the most part, Tom, stay down low, big fella. Stay down low. We are tied up at 29. Field goals have been tough to come by until our Moose. So Anthony sat out last year, late for the University of Virginia. And now our Moose and does it. Yep, they share the ball really well. Key jab. Blocked from behind by Kata. The ball zero. Alston's 21 for Boise State. Shot clock is at five. Acott inside to Milner, stumbling to the basket, lays it in. Touch pass with the wave. And Gage running this offense. Four in the shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do that. 235. And the way he ripped that rebound down and took the ball away from the opponent shows how much he's improved physically. High loadage. Uh, and, and they have to get him in the flow of the game. Maybe some inside out passing. It's well for his first down four. But a Bryce Hamilton triple. It begins the second. Boy, Moses Wood desperately wanted the ball open in the lane. Another three that willed that ball to go in. I mean, that was a really hard shot falling down with two guys on him. Jung open underneath. How about the rest? Left a lot of open shot, but shots not made in the last game. Got to shake free tonight. And Moores gets up in the shot. Nice run here by Colorado State to cut the lead to four. Little pocket pass there. Look at Thomas getting the pass for an open shot. Beautiful. Kata Stevens the steal. Moore. Because that was his best offer. And it's become a huge star in the Mountain West. Ronnie muscles his way to the basket for two. Pretty good at it. Tom K to handle the paint, the take, and can't finish again. And tough to break when your opponent is making shots. Exactly. Pulliam, boy, a nice dump down. And at the point I was about to make, that offensive rebound and then the drive by Butler afterwards, that's one way you can beat a good defensive team is drive the closeouts. Five minutes left. Butler. Kata altered the shot. Then what? He's got to go now. Shot clock's at five. Gomez, little man, weaves his way through, got it off. It's short. And try to get Sacco a shot. Screen for Butler. Got Kata in the air. And he scores. And from the floor. Gomez gives it off to Mitchell. They got to get Mitchell going. He tried to pass down. Back. Mm -hmm. And the atmosphere is going to be back to, to what we expect. There'll be fans in the stands and uh, and did such a great job with that even though Tom Thibodeau his uh, college coach said he was uh, he was plenty slow he really put great pressure on Jason Preston and disrupted that away action they were running for maker he is fat right back out he had a lean to the yeah. now more drops in and Cato with another block Johnson trying to drive, denied right there, down low by Anderson. Mitchell in, step back, triple, rebound, it was, and you got to get it in stride, so it's got to be a thread-like pass, it was. The fake, the try, high on the sledgehammer, to Myatt. To go along with the three assists and two blocks, he typically averages. Could not erase Maldonado, though, who challenges after will make shots. I wonder if the first hit by Steven Ashworth off the bench. Is. Oh, that one is rejected. Different type of burger today in Logan, I understand. Yes, peanut butter burger. Kata gets another. Robinson versus Kata. Second try, double team. Rejected. Get. Six, six for seven foot. Another block shot. Pick and pop. He's hit three three pointers. Thomas goes at him, and Kata fouls him, and that's four. Just didn't have enough on him. No, maybe, but it had to release it maybe a second earlier. Pulliam pull up jumper inside the arc, no good.
position. There were so many uh, changes, particularly with the loss of Sam Merrill. And another Asaba to Bishop from the outside. Yeah, oh, get up. Woods got seven, but Jenkins has 13. Jenkins goes to work. Oh, get that. Swatted away. That's something Nico Medved, the head coach of Colorado State, has told us they have to get off to a fast start. They were off to a slow start. James Morris has, ha has had some really nice minutes here tonight. And that's that vertical jump you're allowed off. Try to throw the lob at Kata too. Play going, the basketball season going, a lot of conferences going to this two game matchup where they just stay in one place. Henry. Quickness to get by you. He's crafty and shifty, very smart. Thompson missed. Keita certainly questions can they keep it up? This is game three and three nights for a very young team. Thompson misses his first. Hendricks has not had a lot of room beyond the arc where he lives. Foster clears and scores over Keita. Tremendous. Cowboy hats. So what's the what's the most expensive cowboy hat here? Four hundred dollars. Really? Four hundred dollars. Which one did you buy? That field goal of the game. Scotty to his left, blows by Kata. Kata recovers for the reason go in. And Brito is only a 25% three-point shooter this season. He gets his first attempt to go in. Jackson coming off a career high 30 at Fresno State. And John on the floor with Lavelle Scotty. Caleb Morris, Scotty now, good head fake, open luck. Ryan Swan straight away, straight away three. Fourth rebound of the game, and now 11 points for Namiyash Keita. Juris, young man, used to play club basketball at Benfica in Portugal. Easy finish on that one. There he is snagging that. 37% from the field. They missed two, uh, eight out of their last 10 shots. Thistlewood gets into lane, attacks with the right hand, and it's blocked with buckets. Buzzer and there's shot beaters. clock buzzers. Edwards oh. in the lane, shot up, missed. Carbaccio's there with the offensive rebound. Best stats guy in the business, Reed. Gene Duffy just handed me this note about it being the lowest offensive output in the first half for the Cougars. Nixon finds Yoli open. Yoli's fouled. Out of the out of the lane a bit. Works it down low. Picked up by Scott. Scott double team. Puts a shot up with the right hand and. Evil time that's been eaten up off the clock that can throw off the rhythm of an offense. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Davion Mitchell's a, a top five prospect. Oh, we had him at the top of the key. Mm -hmm. At finals, and he's been absolutely spectacular. Uh, Jay, it almost looks like he hasn't even lost a step. He's been so good coming off ball screens. Yeah, it's just how many strokes you may be behind the leaders, how many players you have to climb over to get there, and, and you know how many players would you have to climb over that are uh, call guard necessary <laughs> evils <laughs> for that very reason. <laughs> Christopher's got nice nine points now. Point. Marcus Zagorowski out of Creighton. He's the sharpshooter, but he's going to step out of bounds. All-American coming out of high school. Been a good block there by Jason Preston. Uh, uh, but he was, uh, he started at the University of Kansas, expected to be one-and-done players and go directly into the NBA. They can, they can feel a lot of pressure, and I, I'm not sure that, that Quentin necessarily reacted to that pressure. He can, he can handle, he's an excellent passer. He's great in pick-and-roll situations. And you know, I, I uh, you know, Eve Pons is going to have a really nice NBA career. There's a big man out of Utah State, Kata, with the putback. If you're in a game like this where there's not much flow, it's kind of hard to get into a rhythm. What do you do to make sure you stand out? Make hustle plays. Mm -hmm. You know, so one of the threes, and so it's been really difficult to get a full grip on what he's capable of doing because he's been playing hurt the entire time. I think what we're seeing. You know, it's been interesting too watching Dacian Nix out, out there. He was supposed to out of high school go to UCLA. Wound up in the G League. For Angle and to put that basketball on the backboard. Good read there by the big fella. 
You love seeing quality big man play. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Greenberg would say it's all. He's primarily a guy who scores off the dribble getting to the basket. I want to see if he's going to be able to do that in this game. Out of bounds for the Aggies, and that takes us to very good. Let's keep an eye on this matchup with Deshaun Thomas, who came in the game for Moores. He had his best game of the season against Utah State. There's John Tonje trying to work on Kata, and a foul is called. All right, after three, 12.45 to go first half. Stevens, oh, explosive move, and he finishes. Isaiah's. This Colorado State team makes a lot of passes in half court. A lot. Good pass, good cut. And a foul called as Bird was last night. More. Oh, improvising for two. Roddy. Oh, Kata smacks it. Five seconds left in the first half. Stevens trying to get to the hoop. And it won't go. That's Lots of NCAA tournament implications. Offensive rebound by Moores. Roddy drops in, and a foul is called. Stevens all the way. Roddy offensive board. Trying to go up with it, and Kata altered that one. Stevens high arcing shot from the free throw line. Boom. Roddy follows his miss. The ball into the big guy. Stevens. They give up a three to Deshaun Thomas as long as he can still be down there helping. Roddy trying to split the double and he's fouled. Defense by Roddy strips it away, races up ahead right at Brock Miller. And Kata got back on the defensive end. They want a goaltender next year. They had to change the hotels. But if they won, they were in that same hotel. Oh, Kata's got his big paws on that one. Another block. Thomas goes up. No. Roddy. Roddy's blocked by Kata. Yeah, this guy's first around Kata. Short. Roddy grabs it. Roddy trying to go up with it. Muscles his way and he's fouled. There's Stevens. He's quick. Oh, oh. Kata! Out of nowhere. Blocked. Right back out. He had a lane to the yeah. end. Now Moore drives in, and Kato with another block. Pounds, that's a sort of a bruising kind of frame, but he's pretty nimble in there, as you can see. Napoleon gets it, goes into Bean. Oh, and swatted away. Nine to play in the first half. Mountain West Championship, the winner goes to the NCAAs. Diving inside, lost the ball, turnover on Stir. He's not afraid to take a shot. Knocked away by Mensa. nice defense. Galloping Mitchell right to the hole. Oh, the knock away. Kato. And a half to play in the half. From Vegas, the winner goes to the NCAAs. Great crossover. Pullian with a dazzling move for two. Three points, one basket by Miller. Worcester hasn't scored a basket, and neither has Anthony after a great game in the semifinal. Anthony defending there. Mensa going us with a screen. Can't. Shot clock at five. Matt Mitchell inside. Mensa right there on the Utah State today. Pullian is a senior. Miller is on him. He'll accelerate and drive and knocked away. Call the goaltend. Hamilton around the screen. Drives in and with the left hand he gets it to drop. Keeps him visible when he's been the key addition to the Phoenix Suns who are now in the Western Conference Finals. And he's been absolutely spectacular. Uh, Jay, it almost looks like he hasn't even started in that game. And that's been... A bit of a problem for Utah State this year. They've had some sluggish first halves. Craig Smith called it a, a bit of a root canal yesterday <laughs> in the first half for the Rams. Kata's pass picked off. Roddy. Moore races up. Doesn't have numbers, so pulls it back. Put the other Not hand. bad, huh? He's strong, too. Driving into Tomajic. The corkscrew move inside. Kata loses the ball. It's off the hands, they say. Uh, Kata trying to go in aggressively. They double him. Mensa with nice defense, and they threw it away. The defense right there forces the turnover. Well, Kata was looking stir. 
Shot clock at eight. Peta, a lunging catch. Tamayic is there with the D. He'll spin and lean and Mason get fouled. Kevin, that was a traveling violation. He did not get fouled. We're getting the job done the last couple of years here in Vegas. Back to back Mountain West tournament champions looking to make it a three feet as Keita travels. I would think, Steve, that puts Boise State in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I would have to say that Boise State is probably out. Now, you never know what's going to happen, but my guess is they're out. Jake, you got to play D. You got to pass. That just shows you their versatility. Look at this footwork. Oh, that defense really hounded them. They get a little double team inside, a little trap in the post on Kata. Well, and, and, you t and I think it's mission accomplished the way they're playing down the stretch. And I think they're the team you don't want to play in the Mountain West tournament. They are really disturbing Nemius Kata yeah. every time he gets the ball in games between their last game and the conference tournament. And, and you know they're angry right now. They're yes. practicing angry. You know, they're going to be a force to, to contend with in the Mountain West tournament. Another Utah State turnover. That's their seventh at the other end. He's Kata. Help is too low, oh, and Kata gets through the key yeah. and throws it away, trying to find funds. A little too excited. He knew the double team was coming. He was trying to beat he the almost. double team. And then they had a massive scandal with Greg Marshall. Logan, Utah, Doug Gottlieb, Darren Sutton, and you. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We trust your week. Four teams in the league. Yeah, net rating bumpers. Yeah, for sure. Kata swatted away by Washington. Right there, Johnny on the spot. Nice play by Warren. Nine. He did it. Coming up, college basketball, Utah State and Boise State right now. Broncos have defended the three quite well in this series. Double comes. Kata, that's a palm and a turnover. Right here on the... Kata. For Miller, off a screen, that's a moving screen. You can do the dribble handoff, but you can't turn in. Kata. Throws it away. Acock backs his way in. Shot clock at 12. Lost control. Got it back. Lost it again. Arbus with the steal. Interesting. No double team that time, Tom. One for two from the line. Kato with the offensive rebound. A little jump and a trap. Yep. He's lucky he didn't get a foul on that one, Tom, on that. You know, when I was at Xavier in Cincinnati, we played him. He's a tremendous player. His dad did you coach him? Carroll. Did you coach against him well? Yeah. yeah he did good. Yeah, he's a very good player. A uh, foul called on Utah. Anderson with the rebound. He's going to Kana now. He's got a mismatch. Ooh, open screen. And high, there's the entry from Worcester. Kata. Oh, here we go, Kata. Backing down on Robinson. That'll be offensive. Okay, we'll watch these. He wants it. Call for, I love when big men call for the ball. Mister gets it deep. There's that double. Oh, nice. And they get the turnover. And it's Mia getting the hand in. He could have a triple double as he asks for the ball now. And he is immediately double teamed and shoved into the corner. UNLV choice one. It worked. But last game, they didn't double team kick. Three bounds a game. And then, as you said, that limited playing time, eight blocks overall. Double team doesn't matter. Steps too many, though. Amy Kata with the traveling violation. A quick reminder who swatted. He just used the backboard as a pick to get over there and use it at the easy lane. Now they made Kata dribble. Turnover number from the other wing. The weak side to help out. There's always somebody near. The two guys near every time. Kata getting physical. Look at the way that Jones stuck with him. He's stayed down, did the commercial, and then comes back out with a steal and a scoop. Jones bodying up Kata, and he traveled. Kata frustrated on the offensive side. Kata, the double comes.
pack, mm -hmm. and the atmosphere is going to be back to, to what we expect. There'll be fans in the stands, and uh, and did such a great job with that. Even though Tom Thibodeau, his uh, college coach, said he was uh, he was plenty slow. Mamu Kalashvili with the right hand. If you're in a game like this, where there's not much flow, it's kind of hard to get into a rhythm, what do you do to make sure you stand out? Make hustle plays. Mm -hmm. You know, say one of myself and, and be competitive and uh, try to show that I can guard bigger guards, so. Well, it was fun to watch. Really appreciate the performance you had out there today. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you. Roddy wins that battle. I mean, he's so good. Roddy, not this time. And Kata next year. They had to change the hotels. But if they won, they were in that same hotel. Oh, Kata's got his big paws on. The There's Stevens. He's quick. Oh, oh. Kata! Out of nowhere, what? right back out. He had a lean to the yeah. end. Now Moore drives in, and Kato with another block. It was, and you got to get it in stride, so it's got to be a thread-like pass. It was. The fake, the try, high on the sledgehammer to Myatt. Blake thought about a three. Now Blake driving on Wooster. Freshman on freshman, and Kato says, get out of here. Lead is 12. Part of the deal here is you just talked about how they've out-rebounded every one of their opponents. And they're, they're down three. To go along with the three assists and two blocks, he typically averages. Could not erase Maldonado, though, who challenges after will make shots. You wonder if the first hit by Steven Ashworth off the fence. Oh, that one is rejected. Happy. Yes, Trace Tinkle starred at Oregon State. His dad, of course, was the coach of Montana at the time. And Foster spins off Kata, who recovers for yet another block. That's... To sell off the quick rip through, challenges the big. Fortunate people in this building. They all are. They came out. You could see a bounce in their step, Utah State. And they're all they got me. <laughs> That's right. Just getting the start. Ashworth was solid in game one with six assists. Ooh, Keda swats it away. Alston around a screen. Armish surprised by the pass. Stumbles into the block. Well, we wondered how Utah State would come out being off for 13 days. Shaver, right side of the lane, off the glass. No good. The ball. Yep, they shared the ball really well. Key jab. Blocked from behind by Kata. The ball. Block inside of 10. No hesitation. Now Robinson takes it. Robinson versus Kata. Second try. Double team. Rejected. Get the pass through the wave. Gage running this offense. Four on the shot. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do that. Gray. Six for seven foot. Another block shot. Trouble for Stroud. Gets it back. Takes it in deep. Kata says, no, sir. Yeah, that's the one thing Miller and Hamilton for UNLV share in common. They both lit up Colorado State. There's that block. And he does. Woods got seven. But Jenkins has 13. Jenkins goes to work. Oh, get that. Swatted away for it, but that doesn't mean it's been easy. They've given up basically all social life outside uh, of one another. Outside of one another. Uh, and, and they have to get him in the flow of the game. Maybe some inside out passing. It's well for his first down four. And even before and after practice.
<laughs> but, but but the one thing is, it, and and that's why I love when 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 Fonz and Jay come down to games because it, if you're in a game like this where there's not much flow, it's kind of hard to get into a rhythm. What do you do to make sure you stand out? Make hustle plays. Mm -hmm. You know, so one of. The Roddy. Oh, Kata smacks it. Stevens all the way. Roddy offensive board. Trying to go up with it, and Kata altered that one. Defense by Roddy strips it away. Races up ahead right at Brock Miller. And Kata got back on the defensive end. They want a goaltender next year. They had to change the hotels. But if they won, they were in that same hotel. Oh, Kata's got his big paws on that one. Another block. Thomas goes up. No. Roddy. Roddy's blocked by Kata. Yeah, this guy's. There's Stevens. He's quick. Oh, oh. Kata! Out of nowhere. Blocked. Right back out. He had a lean to the yeah. end. Now Moore drives in, and Kata with another block. He's bound Moore. He races behind the line, but will feed Roddy. And there's another block. Make it eight for Kata. Stevens to Moore. So oh, nine blocks for Kata. Hounds, that's a sort of a bruising kind of frame, but he's pretty nimble in there, as you can see. Pulliam gets it. Goes into B. Oh, and swung away. He's not afraid to take his shot. Knocked away by Mensa. Nice defense. Galloping Mitchell right to the hole. Oh, the knock away. It is by Kata. Jenkins, his shot's blocked by Kata. Blake thought about a three. Now Blake driving on Wooster, freshman on freshman, and Kata says, get out of here. One of the Achilles heels for Fresno State's been turning the basketball over, something that they've struggled with throughout the course of the season. There's the defense. I mean, look how good of a player he is. I mean, 57% from the field, almost averaging a double-double. Look at the block shot. Lead is 12. And part of the deal here is you just talked about how they've out-rebounded every one of their opponents. And they're, they're down three runs. And they never uh, yielded the lead. Block shot. We'll make shots. I wonder if the first hit by Stephen Ashworth off the fence. Oh, that one is rejected. Graham EK limited with two personal fouls. Uh uh. Different type of burger today in Logan, I understand. Yes, peanut butter burger. Kata gets another. Foster spins off Kata, who recovers for yet another block. To sell off the quick rip through, challenges the big. Fortunate young entrepreneurial woman. Cambridge quickly in the fourth court, in deep. KJ Himes, no thank you. Saw Fresno going to UNLV, going to win. Vegas. And of course, San Diego State does not want to have to go to Steve Alford, Indiana. Got the mayor, block shot. Best defender of nine. Nevada, one of six. Somebody figures it out soon. Uh, that's what's a big part of it. I missed some shots on post ups. And one of the things that happens when you post a guy up is there's no real. That was too far. And that was two hands. He did it. Coming up, college basketball, Utah State and Boise State right now. Is getting the start. Nashworth was solid in game one with six assists. Ooh, Kata swats it away. Acott. Acott in the paint. One-handed shot in and out. Armouche with the rebound. His putback is blocked by Kata. Yep, they share the ball really well. Key jab. Blocked from behind by Kata. The ball. Robinson versus Kata. Second try, double team. Rejected. Get the pass through the wave. Gage running this offense. Four on the shot. Oh no! Oh no! Don't do that. Six, six for seven foot. Another block shot. Trouble for Stroud. Gets it back. 
Takes it in deep. Ada says, no, sir. Hold on. Strong inside. Oh. There's Gray, <laughs> but denied. Oh, and hitting the floor. Yeah, that's the one thing Miller and Hamilton for UNLV share in common. They both lit up Colorado State. There's that block, and he does. Woods got seven, but Jenkins has 13. Jenkins goes to work. Oh, get that. Swatted away. He, he can usually take it from one step and throw it down and lay it in. Well, there it is. He fumbles it away. It's a free throw line. Out in transition. He's uh, and, and they have to get him in the flow of the game. Maybe some inside out passing. Swat for his first down four. Blake. Over to Jenkins rising in front of Miller. Rebound and Bakke blocks. Good ball moving around the perimeter. Edwards from three, in and out, and Kata grabs the rebound. Kata had a really good game. To their backstory, little player bios, figure out who can golf, who can fish. It'll be a good time. A little little over I love the crisp passes. Don't even hesitate. Yes. me deal with that frustration things changed when i tried zip recruiter because it works like a free personal recruiter why i started a new job last week Dad. this still difficult to get a full grip on what he's capable of doing because he's been playing hurt the entire time i think what we're seeing today is a bit games <laughs> <laughs> And, and that's really emblematic of what the play has been from the white squad. Here, junior out of Moore, Oklahoma. There's Morris. Can't finish at the rim. May have been altered by Wooster. Only give up 62 points per game. That's top 25 in the country as Roddy misses. He had a slow first half yesterday. Bird takes a bump, puts up a shot. Nowhere close. I got to tell you, I really like the small team better. Roddy, not this time. And Kata clears. And Kata took in the first half about the affection you have for Isaiah Stevens and, and David Roddy. Both of them are sophomores. And Nico Medved told him that looked like a flat out dunk. Not what he does. I think Moore did get a piece of it. He only got two points. And that's not going to add to his total. Started the game. Moore still can't get on track. Kato with the rebound. Stevens to Moore. So oh, nine blocks for Kato. Anthony's not a guy with lightning speed, but he can see, just show you, he can get where he wants to go. That was Utah State's first three, and there's a nice inhaling. They sneak it down low to Myatt, and in there defending Kato, who gets the ball. It's awfully tough to get it over. Game. Utah State's won both. The team in blue. That's a three in its way in the corner, and it's off there by Gomez, and picked up by Kato. Four. Shackle, driving, step back, 16-footer, no. Rebound, Kata. Another rebound. The one thing about this Utah State team, really, except for Ashwood and Brock Miller, they're not a good three-point shooting team. UNLV, on the other hand, has made ten tough. Hamilton. And Kata rips it off the glass. These, these guys know where they stand. They see it everywhere they look. Bracketologists everywhere. Everybody talking about who's in. into the corner it goes. They work it around to Hamilton for an open three. And Kata back on the floor with the rebound. Jenkins. And Wooster alters the shot. Second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Jenkins will launch from deep. It won't go. Shot clock turned off. Anthony seven games. He's got two this evening and 13 for Anthony. Nice cut. Grill can't finish. Three-point play. Kato the rebound. Number nine. Delcati a step back is short and Kata with his 11th rebound. 
And Bakke Chong playing with four fouls, trying to get around Keita, cannot. Great box out by Justin Bean. You almost have a de facto play-in game. Would you agree with that? Utah State, Colorado State tomorrow? The winner would guarantee to Braxton Mia, who was just there on the defensive end. Seven foot one from right here in Fresno. San Joaquin Memorial. And in that third foul, we'll do some things defensively to make it a little more difficult for them to get that third foul. Seven will fall away. It is 12. Part of the deal here is you just talked about how they've out-rebounded every one of their opponents. They're, they're down three right now. Nice off balance. Oh, for Deion Stroud. Stroud's been quiet. When it's been a single possession, they've closed. Four and one in one possession games. This was part of Virginia's national championship team in 2019. Kill again. That is short. So good. And to be able to do that on the second day, where his legs are probably a little heavy, his decision Look making has been steel. specific. That's some good ball from the WNBA this season. That is a fabulous watch. Going in the half court offense, moving the ball side to side, playing with great patience. That's a bad turnover. Delcadia turns it over. And also, there it is. For the Bulldogs. We'll talk about this in a second. Times Square afterwards. Like, oh, no, name in the Big East. When do you guys play? Like, yeah, we're actually done. Actually, over. A steal for Utah State out of the stoppage. Marco wanted to get in the highlights. Not quite. But his defense is a highlight so far. Uh, three straight turnovers for third of his career. Second straight double double. His high school coach is never going to get to leave Logan, neither his family. Right. There are times to shoot. Up with it along the baseline, a little bit firm. Mimi Keita, I've got it. Swelch. Ben Rhodes, he said, what's above cloud nine? How about cloud 99? He this is Dennis, handoff key jab. Milner rolled, Keita poked it loose. And a chance Boise State on an 8-0 run here. Keita got a hand on that. And another turnover. Bruce Moores has, ha has had some really nice minutes here tonight. And that's that vertical jump you're allowed off. Try to throw the lob at Keita to get in the pass for an open shot. Beautiful. Keita. Stevens the steal. Moore. Of course, because it's a home game. They don't have a big crowd, but they do have some people. What's the number, Dave? How many? 1638 is the exact and paper sticky defense. And it was really sticky on Thursday night, just like that. Kata denies the way they play defense. They pack it in. Nobody's coming out in pressure before you can't get the ball in that lane at all. And Kata knocks it away from Mensa the first. And Dutcher has a veteran team. He likes veteran teams. He told us early on this year, and here's Kata in the open floor, heading to the rim. The floor. Gomez gives it off to Mitchell. They got to get Mitchell going. He tried to pass down. Low. Getting Dorsey in there, mixing it up a little bit.
a opening tip. In 14 games this year, he's won the opening tip of 13 of them. Not surprised watching him in layup lines. Boy, he can really get up.